holy grail. And I mean that in the sense that like this would make this person the ultimate speedrunner of all time. Um, I would say, see, I've kind of heard this from another YouTuber and I kind of agree. Um, I think it was Carl Jobs who said this, where he thinks that if someone can get all Super Mario 64 records, so that's 120 star, which is all stars in the game, 70 stars, which is uh, basically the amount of stars you need, you normally need to beat the game, uh, the 16 star record, which is where uh, you do what are called BLJs to go through doors and stuff. And then there's a one star record and a zero star record. If they could get all of those records at the same time, then that's kind of like the top of the top. Um, who would you say, and if it's you, say it's you, who would you say is probably the best speedrunner? Best speedrunner? Definitely not me. <laughs> but like, the problem is that it is on a game-to-game -game basis. Um, but I'd say probably the best speedrunners come out of Super Mario 64. Uh, because that is the most technical, um, the most competitive game of all time, I would say. So there are people like um, Cheese, Simply. Um, there, there's a lot of speedrunners within Super Mario 64 that the most competitive category is 120 stars, which is about an hour and 45 minutes. And the record is so precise that it... Like, if you make a single mistake, you might lose world record. It's it's not, not that bad, but it's such a long speed run with so many things that can go wrong with so many hard things. So I'd say the Super Mario 64 speedrunners are, like, probably at the top of speedrunning. Easiest game to speedrun, hardest game to speedrun. That's a hard one, actually, because I think it's what... I can't give you a definite answer, because... I'd, I can say for me personally, I think the hardest game for me to speedrun is getting over it. It's a game where you, yeah, go over a mountain, you have a hammer, you're in a pot, and it's kind of like a rage game where if you fall down, you lose all of your progress. But if you get really good at it, I think the record's like two minutes when it takes for a casual playthrough, usually like six to ten hours. So for me, I'd say that's probably the hardest one just because it's really... It's a frustrating game. You know, there's so many things that you can mess up, even though it is so quick. Um, and then the easiest game to speedrun, it's hard to say that one as well, because there are speed games, for example. Like, um, you can speedrun the original Five Nights at Freddy's, uh, where basically there's a tiny exploit which lets you get through just a little bit faster. But at the same time, it's just Five Nights at Freddy's. If you can survive Five Nights, then you win. Uh, there are people who've speedrun like old Barney games where it's just like a 2D, really slow Barney game. There are so many games like that that you can't really say the easiest or the hardest. But yeah, hardest for me, definitely getting over it because you get a little tilted. <laughs> game that probably couldn't be done any faster. Like, is there any games that like, I think we have reached the limit and that's not going to get any quicker. I can say for sure there are some, like, for example... Uh, dragster for the atari um that has reached its theoretical limit what you can do in speedrunning is something called a task where um it's a tool assisted speedrun where you can go back and use a program to uh basically every single frame you can press any button you want so you can go frame by frame making it the perfect speedrun so you can see like hey yeah is this as theoretically perfect as it can get but so there are games like that, but that's a really simple game where it's like you just drive the car. It's like a six second speed run. So there are things like that. But the thing about speed running is as soon as you think we're reaching the theoretical limit, there's something new that's get that gets found. Like for uh, the original Super Mario Bros, that uh, it keeps finding just these tiny time saves and it makes the game exponentially harder. But you can watch on YouTube. There's a um like what's the word I'm looking for a video that compares the task to the world record. And it's like almost there, but oh. who knows in another two years, we might find a new or a, not me, we, but someone might find a new glitch that just makes it a couple frames faster. Have you, how far have you gotten into like a good speed run and then made a mistake? 
<laughs> that happens a lot. Um, the thing about speedrunning is you're going to have nerves, especially if you're on a really good one. What you have to do is make it to that point enough to where you're used to it. So I've had several speedruns, which, you know, they're about to uh, PB your personal best. And, uh, you know, you fail at the last trick that you need to do, the last hard thing of the run. So that happens all the time in speedrunning. But all you can really do is say, okay, well, I just got to make it to this spot five more times, fail each time, and then eventually I'll get used to it. Thank you.